But don't you think we should tell him? No, 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 no. I don't want him relaxing because he will think he has gotten in already and then mess up in his final exams. I know, darling. I know, but it's just so exciting. I can barely keep it in. Timmy, he has been at the top of his class since he started secondary school. Huh? I see no reason why he will not be chosen. Let it be. Uh, bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. No, 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 no. Not without having breakfast first. Come on. Mom, the driver is waiting. And he can wait 10 more minutes for my baby to have breakfast. Come on, sit down. I'm not even hungry. Listen to your mom, son. Come sit. I woke up early to make this for you, you know. Wait. <laughs> Hmm. Sit down. Don't worry. You don't have to eat all of it, okay? Just a little bit to make mommy happy. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I swear, I saw her on Saturday. At that event, I said I went with my mom. She was there as well. We spoke for like five minutes. She was all smiles and everything. Oh, yeah? And what is it you were telling her that she was all smiles and everything? <laughs> <laughs> like, guy, you think you can come here and just lie to us? Like, say that yesterday, then bonus. I'm not lying. I'm telling you, it actually happened. But I saw her today, and she walked past me like I didn't exist. So annoying. <laughs> now, that sounds like Kemi. But the first one, it's hard for me to believe. Yo, Timmy, say something now. Back me up here. Have a. When you saw her on Saturday, was she alone? Pretty much, yeah. But today she was with Lewa and Nadia. Yeah, as usual. Well, that's the problem. What is? Look at her. She's always trying to seem cool in front of her friends. That's probably the reason she snubbed you. The only way you can get her to speak to you, let alone even like you, is if you approach her when she's alone. Besides that, she'll snub you just to impress them. How do you always know these things? Well... Okay, everyone, settle down. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, I was held up at the principal's office. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce you to your new classmate. Caroline. Behave yourselves. Um, why don't you sit over there? So Caroline is new in the country, and uh, you guys should be friendly. OK, you can familiarize during your lunchtime. Meanwhile, Pace International have informed us that they will be coming for interviews. So that means you have to be ready. You remember that they only have one scholarship slot at their school. Is that clear? Yes, now we can get on to business. So I hear you're the most popular person in school. Even if I was, I don't think I am anymore. Why is that? Well, I hear there's this new girl that's getting everyone's attention. That's really beautiful, by the way. Thank you. How long have you been standing there? Not long. Mind if I sit? So, how are you enjoying your first day? It's been interesting. Everyone seems really friendly. And how did you end up here? <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing I'm here. Not many people choose this country. Basically, my dad hops from country to country for work, so I get to be his involuntary sidekick. And see a couple of cool places while we're at it. So, have you seen any cool places? I was hoping you could show me some. My parents grew up here. My dad hasn't been back here since my mom passed. I was still a baby then. 
I'm really sorry about that. It's okay. I bet she was extremely beautiful. She was. So, do you ever wonder what she was like? Oh, I knew a lot about her. My dad made sure of that. She loved to travel. We traveled a lot together. Maybe, maybe that's why he enjoys taking me with him. I'd love to travel the world someday. Well, I'm sure you would. The amazing art you create would take you places. Yeah, that's more like a hobby. Something I do to take my mind off of things. Yeah, but you could study it in college, maybe. I hear art is really expensive these days. I mean, I would, if I was as good as you. My parents would never allow that. But I don't think too much of it anyways. I believe I'll end up where I end up. <sighs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. I come here when I want to be alone, by myself. It's become Joe. It was just a peck. Uh, same thing. So you were able to get her alone then? With my help, oh, I distracted her friends, you know, wing my thing. So my G has a girlfriend now. <laughs> Speaking of girlfriends. Hello. Hi. You ready? Later, guys. Stop drooling. Am I drooling too? Uh, you are drooling. <laughs> it speaks to you. Every line, color, and pattern. Each painting has its own unique story. You can almost feel the emotion of the artist from each painting. I guess that's why I love art so much. I can make it my own world. I'm boring you already. I feel like a geek. No, not at all. I like it. The way you speak about the painting so passionately, it's hard to believe you've never considered taking it up seriously. Well, my parents always say, Making the right choices at this stage in life is the bedrock of any successful person. They think architecture is a much better career choice than art, and I, I think they're right. True, but I still believe in doing what makes you happy. I can see art does. But does architecture make you happy? I don't think I mind it, to be honest. Architecture seems cool. I guess. It's okay then. Let's check out some more paintings. Oh, I have a good one. What is your biggest fear in life? I would say failure. The thought of failing at being the man my parents want me to be makes me really scared. I wouldn't want to disappoint them. I believe failure is subjective. And the only true failure is failing yourself. How about you? What scares you? Probably being on my dying bed and realizing I haven't lived life to the fullest. There's so much life has to offer. So live every day like it's your last. That way, in the end, you have absolutely no regrets.
That's deep. My mom heard that to me before she passed. And I've made it my motto ever since I was old enough to realize what it meant. What? Nothing. Tell me. I'm glad we got to meet. I really enjoy your company. Okay. Caroline, you wanted to see me? Good afternoon. How are you, Timmy? I'm fine, ma. And your parents? They're fine, ma. My regards to them. I hope you're preparing well for your finals and the interview with the university. I'm doing my best, ma. I trust you. I'm counting on you to make the school proud. That's about. Nothing serious. She wanted to know how I was getting along so far. I also needed to speak to her about something. Is everything okay? Yeah, sure. So, um, what do you think about spending the day tomorrow together? Alone? Just us? You mean like skip school? I haven't done that before. No way. I promise it'll be fun. First time's always the best. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Thank you. I can't believe you've had two slices and you still have space for a third. That's incredible. Well, I don't think my pizza. I can see that. You haven't touched yours. What's wrong? It just feels weird. Skipping school, I mean. I'm worried we're missing something important. I bet no one would even notice we aren't in class. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> the trick is to enjoy the moment. Why are you bored of me already? Oh no, not at all. I, I think I'm just worrying too much. I'll, I'll try to take my mind off of it. I can help. <laughs> what, here? Mm -hmm. You're serious? Yeah. I can't do that. What? Why not? Are you scared? Yes. You can see us. Do you put a notice? Come on, don't be boring. Everything you want is on the other side of fear. Yeah, so I think I'll use this one for the Thanksgiving and use this one for the reception. They complement each other well. What do you think? I think it's a good choice, Ma. Okay. I'll them to start sewing. Thank you. Please. Please supervise those tailors very closely. Mm? I don't want any room for errors. I will only stop watching, Ma. Thank you. Hello? Yes, good morning. Ah, 
Ah, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Hope all is well. Wait, what? No, 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 no. That's not possible. I dropped him off myself this morning. What? <laughs> oh, you've been eating this bag. You can keep it. That way you have a lasting memory of me. I really had fun. Told you. Thank you. For? Everything. You're welcome. Oh, we should take a picture. Oh, yeah? Here, let me help. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, mommy, you scared me. Where have you been? At school. This is my friend Caroline. She's a new student in my class. Good afternoon, Ma. It's really nice to meet you. Good afternoon, my dear. I'll ask you again. Where have you been? Inside. Now. I think it's time for you to leave now, my dear. Have a good day. Tini, I got a call from your school today. Imagine how stupid I felt, saying with all confidence that my son is definitely in school because I dropped him off myself. Do you know what you've missed at school today? There's nothing serious happening. Nothing serious. There's nothing serious happening. You missed the interview with the university, Timmy. Do you know the opportunity you've just thrown away? And who is she? The girl? Is she the one that's making you skip school? No, Mommy, she had nothing to do with it. Oh, is that so? So then who was it? It was you. Skipping school is now a habit of my son. No, you are not to be friends with her anymore. No, Mommy. Timmy, shut up! You know better than to lie to me. I'm going to call the principal and I'm going to ask that you both be put in separate classes. No, and we're not enough, there. enough of this rubbish. In fact, get to your room. Get to your room now. You are grounded. I said now. I'm not hungry. <laughs> I see the baby of the house has grown wings. <laughs> okay, so, they... <laughs> so they reported me to you too. Relax, I'm not here to scold you. How you been? Good? Yeah. I see you're still into your art. Mm -hmm. That's good. So, what's up with you and skipping school? Is everything okay? I honestly didn't think it would be a problem. There was nothing serious happening in school that day. I figured. You must be angry with yourself for missing the interview. Not really. I don't want to go to that university. No? Mm. So, so why is your mom making such a fuss about it? That's the school she wants me to go to. Ah, uh, of course. 
trust Timmy to have plans for everyone. So where do you want to go then? Does it really matter? You don't get to do what you want to do in this house. No, no, no. no. I shall know I won't be happy going there. Mm -mm. Look, don't let anyone force you to do what wants to make you happy. At the end of the day, it's your life. So make up your mind, and when you do, I'll talk to her. What's I'm using you? I always feel better when I speak to you. Mm. I've missed that. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> Thank you. Anytime, man. Um, so when your mom has gone to bed, we'll go back to the living room and play some video games. Huh? <laughs> 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 Give me something now. Man. What's this? Yeah, this girl that I met in school. A girl? Yeah, she's new to my class. Wow, um, girls. I think I like her. A girl? Yeah. Jeez. Mm. You have had a wonderful record. Never missed a class or gotten into any trouble. So I'm trying to understand why you chose to skip a whole day of school for no genuine reason. Then there is the issue of missing the interview. I expected better from you, Timmy. I'm sorry, Ma. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Of course you know you have to serve some sort of punishment for that. Give this to your teacher. You may go. But ensure you're back here by break time. Timmy, you do know if there's something going on, we can speak. I'm not just your principal, but I'm someone who cares about your well-being. It was a one-time mistake, Ma. It won't happen again. Many of you are still yet to convince me that you fully understand what this is about. So the goal is to make sure that none of you is lacking. Mr. Timmy, it's nice of you to show up. Sorry I'm late, ma. I was at the principal's office. She asked me to give you this. Prepared or not, you still have to participate. Remember, I don't want to see only the answers. I want to see the steps as well. Where's Caroline? I haven't seen her today. She asked me to give this to you. My sweet Timmy, it breaks my heart that I'm not able to say goodbye to you in person. I had hoped for a better end to the day we spent together. And I planned to tell you just before I left your house. I wanted us to have the best time, but things turned bad really fast. I'm really sorry for getting into trouble with your mom and causing you to miss the interview. I never meant for that to happen. My dad got a new job assignment and is needed urgently in Asia. It's a big deal for him and we're not sure how long we'll be there for, but I know that by the time you get this, we will already be on our way there. I'm so sorry to be leaving so soon, especially because I had the best time with you. I will miss you so much, and I hope we get an opportunity to see each other again. Lots of love, Caroline. Evening, baby. Sorry I took so long, but I'll make you dinner now, okay? What would you like to eat? I'm not hungry. Have you had anything to eat since you got back? No, but I'm fine. OK. 
Okay. So, anything interesting happened at school today? Just a math test. Nothing serious. I spoke to your principal, and she says that she might be able to get the university to give you another interview. So, I mean, that's something to look forward to, right? I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? I'm not going, Mom. What has come over you, Timmy? First, your behavior at school, and now this. Is there a problem? Is there something wrong? What is going on? There's nothing wrong. I just know I won't be happy going there. You just know you won't be happy going there. Are you listening to yourself right now, Timmy? Do you know how many students would give anything to get a second chance like you're getting, and you just want to throw it away? After all of the sacrifices that your father and I have made and everything that we I have... I never asked for any of it. All this time, everything I've done has been to make you happy. I've made sacrifices. All because you said that's what's best for me. And now the only person that has made me happy in a very long time had to leave and I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. All because of you, Mom. I really cared about her. I've been trying to keep up with all these great expectations and now I'm starting to wonder if making something of myself means losing myself, then what exactly am I making? I'm sorry, Mom, but I think it's time I listen to my own heart. You can't keep forcing your choices on me and believe that that counts as love. I know one day I, I may look back and realize that this was a mistake, that my choice was a mistake. But I would rather have that than spend the rest of my life picking up the pieces that somebody else broke. I'm sorry. Your paintings are really spectacular. This is a truly wonderful exhibition. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming. Oh, the pleasure is online. You know, I run an agency that manages young African creatives, and I think your work has the potential to be exhibited internationally, and I believe I can make that so. That's if you're interested, of course. That would be a dream come true. OK, then maybe we could uh, have lunch and discuss about it sometime. Here's my card. You can call me, and we can set it up. Thank you so much. This really means a lot. Oh, don't mention. It really was a pleasure meeting you, Timmy.